Martin, are you okay to to share? On Hi, yes, yes. Thank you, Patricia. I'm I'm here, and, and hello to everybody. Um, uh, I'll now go ahead and share my screen. I hope this works. Um, so here we go. Could somebody just tell me if that is uh, visible? That yep. Yeah, that's fine. We can see you on the screen. Okay, wonderful. Um, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Patricia, Patricia, Magdalena, Kevin, and everyone for the invitation to uh, speak. I, I'm no longer a member of staff at the DCC, but um, as, as has been mentioned, I um, was the first um, product manager, although I never really had that. Um, we, we never had such professional terminology in place. I was just the person that people moaned to. Uh, I think that was my official title. Um, so I, I'm going to talk a little bit about how uh, DMP Online got started, and it didn't um, actually start with the software, it started somewhere else. So believe it or not, uh, once upon a time, uh, there were no DMPs. Um, there, 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 or there certainly was no um, uh, widespread movement towards them. Some projects had them, um, but they, they weren't required by many funders. Um, and that changed, and, and it changed possibly um, as a result of Liz Lyon's intervention with her consultancy report on dealing with data, uh, which said that each funded research project should submit a structured data management plan for peer review as an integral part of the application for funding. Um, so we uh, took a look at this and thought, okay, data management plans are going to be coming. Um, and uh, we um, made a, um, a work package at the DCC um, on data management plans. Um, and really all the, 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 our ambitions at the time uh, extended only to producing templates. Um, so DMP online almost didn't happen. If you look down, um, the uh, development of an online planning tool was the ninth um, of, um, of 10 um, sub-deliverables uh, for um, work package B3.7. Um, and we, we put down for our description or, or when, uh, if achievable. So uh, this was only if we got towards the end of uh, all of the paper-based stuff. Um, so um, it, I guess we can count our lucky stars that we managed to get through uh, the first eight uh, of, uh, first seven or eight of these, um, of these stages. And we did in fact uh, develop an online planning tool. Um, so what we started off with was um, a draft template where, where Sarah Jones and I um, consulted uh, with, with various stakeholders and produced um, a long list of um, uh, categories and of specific questions which were derived from funders data management plan uh, requirements or, or, or data management requirements really as they probably were. Um, and, and we um, made these generic and put them into a, a checklist. And the checklist was very basic, as you can see here. Um, and uh, the checklist uh, became um, the earliest DMP online homepage, uh, also known as Mockup for John, which was the title of the file that I found when I was digging back uh, to show John Fail, who was the first uh, DMP online uh, developer, uh, what it is that we sort of had in mind, how the uh, generic questions from the checklist mapped to um, specific funder requirements, uh, where, the, where the user would enter their input and where advice or guidance that's come to be known uh, would, uh, would be included. So that's, that, that's effectively the, the, the earliest DMP online homepage. And John turned it into something rather better than this. Uh, and the first, this is the first real DMP online homepage from 2010 um, and um, it, John, uh, often protested at um, how much was being expected of him on little, um, on little effort. And um, so consequently, um, after we had uh, launched the, um, uh, the tool at the GISC conference, uh, I've given GISC their, their, their fully capitalized uh, pre-rebrand uh, name there because I think that's historically accurate. In, in I think it was April of 2010, uh, where Sarah and I did um, did a gist demo, which, uh, given our nerves, we scripted quite uh, <laughs> uh, quite thoroughly. Um, we started to get a bit more serious with it, and and this is another document which I found when I was sort of rooting around in my files, uh, the first DMP online vision uh, and mission. Um, so, as as um, Kevin mentioned, our initial uh, audience was the UK research community. So, the first vision was to be the natural tool of choice that members of the UK research community use to create and maintain legitimate stroke acceptable data management plans for their work, according to templates endorsed by and produced 
through close liaison with research funders, HEIs, and other stakeholders. So the, the endorsement of the funders was something that was quite important to us. And that was something which, uh, again, we thought uh, would not be too difficult to come by, uh, but too deep. Um, so, so this was our, our, our vision and mission. And uh, we, we thought that um, at, attracting the attention and the approval of the research funders would be uh, relatively straightforward. We, we did end up getting the approval of some of them, but by no means uh, all for, our, for the approach that we had uh, taken. So that, that, that was a lesson learned there. Um, so version two, as I said, John uh, Fail was often complaining about the lack of resources and, and he brought on board a designer called Caleb Waldorf uh, to, um, to um, contribute to the, the, the user interface uh, design. So you can see from, from, from the initial one here to the, um, um, the, the, the second version here, um, and I believe Adrian Richardson started to come on board about this time. My, my, my timings, because it was a long time ago, are, are a little hazy, uh, but th this, this is what version two looked like. It was much more uh, clean and, uh, and easy to work with, um, and, um, uh, and people seem to uh, find the, the interface a little bit nicer. Um, so uh, because this, this had uh, launched, um, the, the first version of DMP Online launched in spring of 2010, and then there was the announcement from the National Science Foundation in the US that data management plans would be uh, required. And that got lots of people in libraries and research offices in US universities scurrying to, uh, to their um, internet browsers and, and looking for D DMPs because the National Science Foundation was not, uh, and this is an understatement, terribly prescriptive about what should be included um, in uh, those data management plans. So they started coming to us and, and, and saying, oh, I see that you're doing DMPs for the UK. Um, can we talk to you about how we might do something for uh, the US? So um, we uh, had the, the uh, International Digital Curation Conference in Chicago, Illinois, in December of 2010. Uh, and at that, we met um, a bunch of uh, US universities. And I'll, I'll give a shout out to Sherry Lake and Andrew Salins from the University of Virginia. Um, there's a picture there of Sarah Shreves, who was at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, um, and, and a consortium basically of US universities and projects came together to develop um, the US equivalent um, of DMP Online, which came to be called DMP Tool, and, and I um, uh, served as an advisor uh, on the, the project committee uh, or, the, um, or the board uh, for that. Uh, and um, that went down quite well, and, and our collaboration um, eventually was um, um, included as a finalist for the Digital Preservation Coalition's Award for Research and Innovation in 2012. So we started to make friends, we started to get noticed, and we, we were beginning to grow. Uh, DMP Online version 3 launched in the spring of uh, 2012, again, uh, with a better uh, user interface, still with this, the, the same horrible logo that I put together um, in, in, a, in probably about four minutes, um, what one rainy afternoon, and I remember where I was when I did it, thinking, well, it's rubbish, but it'll do for now, it'll get changed. It actually lasted a lot longer than I expected, but I'm glad they have a proper one made by a real designer. Um, so that, that had um, new features like overlaying multiple uh, templates, uh, things that we take for granted now, like shibboleth authentication uh, and the API for systems interoperability. Um, cru crucially, we uh, promised more endorsement from funders. Uh, that did not always uh, come to pass, but um, uh, I, I guess Sarah in the next section will talk a little bit more uh, about that. So uh, I'm just going to leave you now with um, a, a, um, a slide that shows DMP milestones. This is something that I think not long after Kevin came in as, as director, uh, he asked me to, to produce a, a list of uh, what we did and when. So uh, really the roots of DMP online go back to uh, the autumn and winter of 2008 and um, but then the, the actual launch of DMP online uh, was in April 2010 so we are definitely still in the uh, the, 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 the 10 year um, decade anniversary year uh, of the first version of the system um, so I'd, I'd, I'm going to hand over to Sarah just now um, I will be around for the rest of the morning and, and afternoon early morning if you're Sherry Lake in Virginia um, and um, and, and my, my contact details are there if anyone wants to get a hold of me afterwards. So thank you very much again for the invitation. Thank you, Martin.